This is Jackson with High Tech Pawn. Today I'm going to show you how to do a pawn ticket with an item, jewelry, gun, and title. So let's click pawn up here. Now let's select a customer. If you don't have this customer in your database, you can add them by selecting new customer in the top left. You can also find a customer by barcode or scan shell scanner by selecting find by scan. If your previous transaction was done with this customer, you can click where it says previous customer again to bring up your most recent customer. There are quite a few other ways to search a customer, so let's search by name and show you some other ways. So on the bottom of the screen, you can see all the other ways to search for a customer, like the pawn ticket number, you can type in vendors or exempt, you can do PH plus the last four digits of a phone number, PIN plus the customer's PIN, or C plus the last four digits of a customer number or ID. Now we're going to select the customer. It's going to bring up the customer rating. You can click on these boxes to view different details about the customer. Click continue. And now we have our customer brought up. Now that we have our customer pulled up, let's show you what these buttons do. So active military dependent is a checkbox that sets the APR rate to 36% and you use that for that purpose. Manual MLA stands for Military Lending Act. It's a federal law that provides special protections for active duty service members, like capping interest rates on many loan products. If a customer's bringing in an item that they've brought in before, you can click History Item to view all of the items that they've brought in in the past, and you can select one from here and click Add Item to Ticket. You can also look up a different customer, so say like their significant other brought in an item for pawn, you can search their name in. So let's just search in a name right here and select this customer, and you can view the history of that customer as well and select an item. Now just select the item and click add item to ticket and you'll see it presented right here. If you want to edit the item, just highlight it. You can add a note if you would like to down here for the item. Then you'll click edit line. Now right here you can change the description. You click enter. It's going to ask if you want to edit the details. Just click yes and now you can change any details of the item you may need to. And click proceed. You'll select the category. You can change it. So we'll select this. And then you can also change the serial number or what the loan is. Um, so if you wanted to change it to something like 75, you can just go ahead and enter 75, click enter, and on save item you'll click enter as well, and when you do that, you'll see that the price is now updated to 75 instead of what it originally was. To change the interest or any fees on the pawn, just click in your description box and then hit the enter key. Once you do that, it puts the ticket into done mode, and now you can click change fee rates. Once you do that, you can edit the interest or any fees, but be careful changing interest. You'll want to look up the law for your state to make sure what the maximum interest you can do, because if not, you could get in trouble. So let's just click on that box, and we'll change it to a 3. And now you can see that the total down below is changed once you click enter. Now I'll show you how to manually add an item. So let's do a TV. So in the description box, I'm gonna type in TV and you can put more details for that TV right here. Once you do that, you'll go through all of these and click okay. Now select a category for it. So it's gonna be television. We'll select it here. Now put in the serial number for the TV. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna put in some random numbers and then what you want to loan for the TV or what the customer wants to loan and then you put in the value right here and once you've done that you'll just click save item and now you've added the TV if a customer brings in jewelry just click jewelry right here it's gonna bring up our jewelry wizard now you just fill in the details of the jewelry they bring in so for example new men's gold 22 carat We'll say it weighs like um, three grams and it's going to be a ring band and we'll fill in the size right here so we'll do size six if it has any marks like initials we'll put that here if it's a school ring you'll put the school and the year and any other details you might want to and then you'll just click proceed in the bottom right and the category would be rings men since it's a men's ring 
select it. Now just enter the loan amount and the value and then save the item. And that's how you would add jewelry to a ticket. Now we'll add a gun to the ticket. So we'll select gun. Now you want to select the manufacturer. If you do not see it listed here, you'll select add new manufacturer. So we'll type in Remington and select the highlighted manufacturer. The fields on the left are required by the ATF. The fields on the right are not required by the ATF, but may be required for police reporting in your area. So let's enter the model. And now we'll enter the caliber. It's got rifle. So we'll select rifle here. And if the item does not have an importer, you do not have to put an importer. And also gun is new, so we'll say yes, and then proceed. And the category, it's a bolt action rifle. Now just put in the serial number. And finally the loan amount and value. Then click save item and you've added a gun to your ticket. You can delete an item from this transaction by highlighting the item you want to delete and then selecting delete line below. To clear all the information on the ticket, just click clear in the bottom left. I will also demonstrate how to do a title, but titles must be on their own separate ticket. So let's go ahead and save this one first. You can change the output type to print, print an email, view, or no output. Once you've selected what you want your output to be, select save ticket. If you haven't done the MLA verification, you'll see this screen right here letting you know and it will give you the option to go back and do it before saving the ticket. If a gun is involved, it will also let you be aware that the pledger is required to pass a background check in order to redeem their property. Now just select your user and click enter. Now print labels. There's a description on the side to best help you decide which one you would need or select no labels needed. Now select put items in storage in your tickets menu. In these empty fields you're just going to type wherever you put the items. And when you're done with that you'll just click exit. To do a title, select title and fill out the information above. Here's an example of what a completed version would look like. There's also a co-pledger drop down. Co-pledgers noted as AND means both pledger and co-pledger have to be present to do anything with the pawn. Co-pledger noted as OR means either the pledger or co-pledger can be present to do anything with the pawn. Now click proceed. After that select car titles. Now enter the VIN number in the amount you're gonna loan. Now save the item and click save ticket and that's how you would do a title. With all that being said I'm Jackson with High Tech Pawn and this has been your guide on how to do pawn transactions with High Tech Pawn software.